comes everything you need to know about Bavarian Weisswurst, especially the do's and don'ts when you really want to try one. Hi my friends, welcome back to my kitchen here in Munich, Germany. It's time for a real traditional Bavarian breakfast and that comes with beer especially with wheat beer. And the center of a Bavarian breakfast is the Weisswurst, the white sausage, because it's called a Weisswurst breakfast. Always eat Weisswürste before the ringing of the church bell, which says now it's 12 o'clock noon. And the reason behind that is um, you couldn't leave these sausages too long in the hot water then they would, they would burst and, and, and soak the water and not be good anymore. So we have a couple of Weisswürste, a couple of white sausages. We have sweet uh, white sausage mustard and we have pretzels, of course. There's one thing you really have to obey when you make Weisswurst. You never let the water boil. You have hot water and Weisswürste are swimming in that. And they're swimming in there for quite a while, like 10, 15, 20 minutes. But never let this water boil. First of all, I need plenty of my sweet mustard. I won't give you any of those recipes. I will not give you a recipe for sweet mustard and I will not give you a recipe for Weisswürste because you can get all of this on the internet. And I must admit, no one here in, in Munich would try to prepare a Weisswurst by himself. You let this make from the butcher and you always buy the mustard. So I would recommend you do too. All right, I have my mustard here. Now, before I can do anything else, I need a beer. Traditionally, you have wheat beer with Weisswurst. And uh, that's um, very mentionable because it's a breakfast. <laughs> you always eat it before 12 o'clock. Post. Mm. Okay. Let's start to eat Weisswurst. And I will show you a couple of different ways how you can eat it without having an accident. Weisswurst always comes in pairs of two. So first of all, you cut this off. There's one thing you must know about Weisswurst. It comes in this very thick skin. It's an absolute don't to ever eat a Weisswurst with the peel. Because um, these are the guts of a pork and they are sort of like rubber and you don't really want to eat them. So the challenge is to get rid of this peel very easy and very comfortable. As with all the famous things in the world, there is a legend behind the Weisswurst. Um, and this legend says uh, the Munich Weisswurst has been invented by chance in 1857 by a guy who was a butcher and owned a restaurant. His name was Moser and he was preparing Bratwürste, veal sausages. But he ran out of peel, out of intestines and he sent his apprentice to get some new ones but he came back and brought um, pig intestines in instead of veal intestines, which you normally use for bratwurst. And pig intestines are way bigger and, and thicker and, and you cannot really use them. Nevertheless, the guests were waiting and so he poured the ready-made uh, filling into these pig intestines, but he had his doubts whether he could pan fry that and uh, whether they would bur burst or something. And so he um, took the ready-made um, sausages in these pig intestines and just put them into hot water so that the peel wouldn't burst. And that was the intent invention of the Weisswurst. First of all, the first way is to cut it lengthwise, like this, just very slightly. See, it's 
more like a surgeon. And then you start peeling it off. And this is very, very elegant. You have the sausage here, you have the peel in one piece here, you can throw it away and eat your white sausage with some mustard. Perfect. That's the first way how to peel one. Okay, second way. It's called banana. I take the vice first and cut it crosswise. All right. And then I start peeling every bit off. You see, it's not quite that easy, but it works as well. So I've peeled it off half the way. I can dip it into my mustard and eat it. Also a good way to eat a vice first. Here comes the third and very traditional way to eat a vice first. It's called Zutze. It's more like an old-fashioned way. You will immediately find out why. I don't take off the peel. I dip it into my mustard and then I take it with the mustard and the peel into my mouth and suck it out. Mm. It's sort of French kissing the sausage. <laughs> I personally don't like that way how to eat a vice first. But nevertheless, it works and many people do it that way. I think it's only for people who don't know the meaning of disgusting. So what's inside the Weisswurst? Uh, a couple of people say it's a big secret, others say there's only rubbish inside and both are not true. Uh, it's calf meat and it's combined with ice of course, you always need crushed ice when you make a sausage plus fresh herbs like parsley, for example. And um, the white color comes from the fact that you use normal cooking salt to uh, season it. In other sausages, you have nitrate salt and that gives it color. Okay, here comes the last way of eating a white sausage and it's sort of the gentleman's way because you can do it with knife and fork and you don't even have to touch it. Here's how it goes. Put your fork in it and then you cut it lengthwise all the way down, but you don't hurt the peel on the lower side. And then you work like a surgeon and you can peel it off. See how easy that goes. And there's a variation of that trick. You can leave it in the peel, cut it another time into pieces and then you can eat the pieces from it. See? This is very very easy and you don't make your hands dirty or anything. This is the gentleman way or the ladies way how to eat a vice versa. But in any way, however you eat it, it always tastes the same. It tastes typically Bavarian, it tastes brilliant, and it eats a beer. Post. I hope you like my recipes and what I'm doing here in the kitchen. <laughs> if you do, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon again. Okay, bye.